the last time I was talking about these, I was covering them, and I said I would find some type of a base, so I found a base of sorts. Now, this is a Schwann's box, and it did contain quarter pound beef burgers at one time. I, I haven't ordered the burgers in a long time, so I should probably order them again because they're actually pretty good. Uh, but anyway, I thought I, I sampled different boxes and everything, and this seems to be the right size. And like I said, I want to keep these together. I mean, really, I could have them on my desk when I get my crafting table up and running, you know, my table, and I could just have them out like this if I wanted to, or I could mix or match or whatever, but I thought, no, I kind of want to have them together, the whole idea is to have them together like this, and then maybe for easier transport to put them on something like this, this is out of range, a little, so I'm going to adjust, so... I have these and then this container and I had a sheet of this type of foam, styrofoam or something. It's the really flexible stuff and it was much longer than this. It was so long I was able to cut it into three not so even pieces and like it looks even there and there but not so much there. So what I decided to do yeah, it comes up a little. Is put this bigger one on top. And I cut it to size. Hey. <laughs> and I just decided to to the size of the box for the most part. And just have it like that. And then this box, I'd already taken the lid off, and I just have to you know, tape that into place or glue it into place or something. That's not a big deal. I could probably cover this with duct tape or something and just hold the boxes in place. And I might do that like a solid blue or the sea green color that I have. Maybe I'll do that color. And uh, I brought this one over. This is a full bottle not full, but it's a complete bottle. I haven't cut it down or anything like that, and I'm not planning to. This is one I'm planning to cover with some type of tape or paper mache type of thing, like Mod Podge and paper and things like that. You know, these little things are going on my head. But I'm going to use the bottom for to trace around. Here. Now, I could have done that for this, but I didn't want to get pencil markings on these. I am going to... So, I'm going to do this, right? It's either either like this type of thing. Ooh. How's that look? Like that. To the side. Or set up like this. You know, I don't... I kind of... It kind of looks good like this like to the side a little bit, right? Hmm. It's a little bit of... No, it's not that much, actually. Move it over. Hey, I kind of like that. That looks cool. So, what I wanted to do was just kind of put a little pencil mark around this. <laughs> no, it's not making a pencil mark, is it? <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Whatever. Okay, so... I'm gonna use a pen mark. It's already... <laughs> already the point was there. Oh, yeah, that's better. Now I really don't want to trace with these because um, I don't want to get ink on. But I do want to put like just lines down on the on the sponge there or the foam. 
So I have another one of these sheets in the garage. And of course I can't remember what I had that was in there <laughs> that where this packaging was needed. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I am going to stand up a little. Draw a line, a round line. Open it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab the handy dandy Exacto knife set here. That's the best thing I ever bought. <laughs> As a little case. I'm gonna use the bigger one. Really? Oh, gosh. That, oh boy, I had it on all day, or almost all day today because I was doing, I did two videos, well, two craft projects, I should say, several videos. <laughs> So I cut, did I cut underneath? Eh, not too bad. I don't think it went, no. It did not go through to the other side. Okay, so, got a cool design. And if I want, I could probably turn it over. But what I'll probably do is um, cover this, <laughs> cover this, or paint it. Hey, maybe I should paint it. I wonder what would be good for painting it. My alcohol ink markers, maybe? My acrylic markers? Hmm, I should try the alcohol ink markers and see how they do on this. I can always do, like, the bottom one to test it out or something. But, you know, I do have blue here. It's just come off. Let's see. It does kind of come off. Hmm. Good to know. Pay no attention to the kitty. I like how they scratch around in there like the litter box has never been cleaned. It was clean today. <laughs> What's this mess? Gotta keep up with the fastidious cats. They all got brushed today. They love being brushed. I'm like, hey, like, what's this new thing going on? Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> mm, what do you think I should use these for? 
nice little coasters. <laughs> Figured out what I can use to decorate, paint these, and paint those as well. Okay, got my pens here. Which one? Yeah, that's the one I want to use right now. I'm installing or upgrading my AMD graphics card driver. Catalyst Control Center, I believe it is. <clears throat> I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it. Because <laughs> something popped up. I don't know if it was Microsoft settings saying, some of your things are blurry. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's nothing blurry on there. And that coming, that's coming from me. <laughs> Who uh, I can't see anyway. <laughs> I'll use this <laughs> little, little envelope and this I'll fast forward through. Okay, so what do I see like here? Little white spots. So what you see here is it's now a black surface, but it's since this I forgot I keep forgetting that the acrylic markers uh, paint applied with the acrylic markers dry they dry quickly that's good but they also dry matte and <clears throat> that means it's not a shiny surface and on this background on this foam piece it's not even like a super black color and I'm thinking it would fit, this would fit here. Right. Mm, not too bad, but what I'm going to do is uh, get the black acrylic paint tube from Liquitex out. I haven't tried that one yet, so I'm going to try that on here and just paint this whole surface. I'm going to wait for this to dry, come back, and then paint the black on there and see how that works you know because this is like eh, it's okay but it looks kind of like a faded black and I would prefer a much blacker black on here and I'll probably do the sides okay I'm going to continue on with this craft 
where I'm going to paint it. I know it's already painted black. I use the black acrylic marker. It looks like I missed the spot right there. I missed the spot. Okay, I think I'm going to use ivory black then. Put that away. I might use also maybe a... I was going to use this one, but I think, no, I think I'll just use, um, a little wider, a bit wider of a brush. And when I say ivory black, so I'm going to put the Mars black out of the way. And... I know I'm gonna fly through these too, so maybe it's a good idea that two blacks were put in there. And I'm using one of my new palettes. Are, are these really called palettes? I thought a palette was flat with you know the traditional hole, like kind of almost lima bean shaped or something. <laughs> should probably also use a different brush because it's harder to get at this than with this brush it seems like and I don't know uh, because I'm in it's not the same surface as this this is right here inside the cut area is a is a bit of a different surface so it's harder to paint it um, so I don't know if I should be using a different brush I'm, I'm such a beginner <laughs> eh, it doesn't matter if I can get it on there mm -mm. Can I try this? That's it. That's weird, huh? I'm getting, I'm getting all kinds of busy. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do see. Uh... So I did paint this this one on the inside here. And I think I'm just going to continue. I just wanted to get the gist of the black off my hands here. Now I'm going to... It's becoming less and less <laughs> feasible to hold it without getting messy. I just didn't want to have to keep uh, touching everything, and I'm going to go like this. 
No, I'm gonna, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to dry it on that, which is, <laughs> what is that? You don't even see it. It's a round circular palette. Okay, this is, I'm debating on whether or not to turn the the wand light on <laughs> because when I do then it turns off on me fine I'm turning it on making it brighter in here okay so I painted this it looks better and then I had to trim it because I'm gonna put these in here at the back I know they're a different color I'm okay with that are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. Oh, this is a little bit higher up. <clears throat> and when I did trim it, trim this, uh, it took off this black paint. Some of this black paint started peeling off. So it will peel off if I try and cut, cut any part of this. And then here I just kind of played around with. So what did I do? I took a Sharpie black sharpie marker permanent marker and I started filling in all the little gaps there where the black had peeled away and it created well not anymore uh, I created a purplish effect like a dark purple and it brought back a memory when I was a little girl and I had the Bible with the black leather cover I remember writing on it with a black pen. I know, sacrilege. How dare you write on your Bible? <laughs> but I was a kid. <clears throat> so, and I remember seeing that it created like a purple line. And I thought, well, that is so weird, you know. And that was the same effect from the Sharpie marker on this black paint. So I grabbed my Colorona alcohol ink marker, black. And I filled in all those spaces where the, where I did the Sharpie marker with the black, this black. And thankfully, it covered up the purpley stuff. So, I don't know. There might be a couple of... And it made it shiny to boot. So, I thought, well, maybe I should cover this whole thing with this. I don't know if I have enough room or uh, enough enough ink in the in the alcohol ink marker because then I painted the sides. I kind of went a little hog wild. I painted like the trim up here and painted two sides and I thought, stop it. You know, it's like, stop doing that. So, <clears throat> also got a little, a little bit of the black on here and you can see it, it's shiny. Ooh, I am not painting this one or this one. What I'm planning to do with these is <clears throat> glue them together. I'm not sure how I'm going to glue them together. I'm going to try this and see if I can glue down um, the the first spongy. It, this is pool noodle foam. This is the same. I think it's called polyethylene foam, I think. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know. Because I, I, I was looking for glue, so I don't know if this is going to work. This is Adtech Crafters Tape Permanent, it says. So how do I do it? You do it? Oh, you know what would help? Is if I took the cap off. 
Yeah. Oh, cannot draw a straight line even with crafter's tape. In my defense, this is not exactly a flat piece of cardboard. Ooh. I think I like this. I want to see if it'll let me do a <laughs> zigzag. I've never used this type of tape before. Cool. Does it? It does kind of. Cool beans. All right, let's get on with it. <laughs> let's get on with it. So I'm going to put the sponge part at the back. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gone all the way down that way. Oh, dear. Now, do I think that it's going to stick to this? I'm certainly going to try. And right side up, upside down, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know. Should we check? Hey, it works. Although I missed this spot here. <laughs> Talk about missing a spot. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, I like this tape. <clears throat> so, I put this on, put this like that, I think, right, or this way. It, it does overlap a little bit, but I am not cutting any more off. Nope, refuse to do it. All right, so let me check here. Which one looks less filled in with color, this side? <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's going to be like that. And I'm not going to color this black. I'm just going to keep this all this bottom part white. Okay. Now, what I want to do here get that black thing out of the way, that black marker. You're probably thinking, oh, you lost your place. You don't know which one's going in. That's right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> You're right there. Hey, you know, I think it took that. <laughs> it took the. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It took the, look, it's like a, yeah, it's a glow. <laughs> that is weird. If you want to remove some um, black tape, black ink, or, God, look at that. Don't do that. Can I get that out? <clears throat> Who knows? Oh, I know. I, I uh, take it apart with presses. No, I'm not going to do it. So, <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right. Now, let's see. Does it have stickies on it? Yes, it does. Kind of. And not kind of. So, let me see. Ooh, there's sticky stuff there. I'm assuming it's working. No, oh, it's not. What's up with that? Is it stuck? Oh, look at that. Maybe it's empty. No. Oh, it's almost empty. It comes poking up to get in on the... Oh, she's going the other way. 
Okay, so which end was at the front? This end, right? The least. There's a kitty tail. The least black, I think, was this end. <laughs> I should have paid attention to <clears throat> that, right? Okay, is it working? No, look at that. Okay, I'm just going to... We are getting... <laughs> Oh, yeah. We have run out. Okay, watch Tammy <laughs> change the cartridge because... Ooh, that was way easier than I thought it would be. And it's leaving some stuff behind. All right. Take it out like that. And grab... A cartridge, and I know right now if I'm planning to keep using this, that I'm going to have to buy more of these. I know that. Is it worth it? I want that one that Lindsay Wyrick has, or one like that, because that thing is like, it's like that big. It's huge. It's maybe bigger. <laughs> it's a giant tape gun. Maybe you guys should look up tape guns. Okay, this is also from AdTech, also the permanent type of deal. So I left this in this position so that I would know how to put this on. <laughs> All right. That can't be that easy. Could it be that easy? Get some of, there's a lot of tape there. Look like it wants to stick there. It said refillable. Okay. I do have two more of these, so technically I have two refills as well. <laughs> two more refills. Okay. You coming off? Yes. It's working! I wanted to see if this one's holding. Maybe, not so maybe. Now, I did have a problem. Uh, I just made a video. A touch-up type of video where my um, blind holder the little one of the water bottle caps came off. Yay! Now, here's a problem I just thought of that I didn't give any thought to before gluing these down. I was so excited about using the <laughs> the tape. It's gotta be a uh, gotta be a hack for this, right? Mm. Hey, there's still stuff on here. Add tech. There's still stickies on here. Yep. I'm gonna have to check it out. Hmm. It ran out, I'm thinking, too soon. I'll play with that later. Okay. So, one of the things that I didn't consider was I want to wrap the box, around the box, with duct tape. And this, I was going to also do uh, the permanent tape around here, too. Oh, I could actually do that. Or maybe I want to... No, I'll do that first. I'll do this. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. I'm excited about this stuff. Cardboard to cardboard. I thought, oh, is that going to stick? Because this is kind of heavy. <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay. So, let me figure out what kind of duct tape I'm going to use. What kind of designer tape. And preferably something that has a black, uh, primarily black color to it. And I'll be back. I'm going to use this roll, and see how I'm making you dizzy, to cover my box. Where's my box? Where's my box? And I was on Amazon, I know. Sorry. I know, I can't help it. <laughs> I was looking at bigger dispensers, permanent tape dispensers, and I actually found the pink one that um, I've seen a fairly well-known YouTuber uh, use the Scotch one, the ATG, I know it stands for something, I just read it and I can't remember. Oh, look at this. It came off. See, I didn't, I knew it wouldn't stick. <laughs> I, like, I knew that wouldn't stick. Is it going to stick? 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 It doesn't matter because I'm going to wrap this tape around it. Okay. I am going to cover this now. Like I said, I probably should have. So is this sticking? Yes. Yes, it's sticking. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh. What's missing? No problem. I got it right here. I'm thinking that's my stand. And another thing that's missing... <clears throat> scissors. Okay. I haven't done... You haven't watched this in a while, right? I haven't wrapped anything on video lately. Wrapped anything with duct tape, I should say. Okay, I, it needs to stand. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. That's not... Ooh, that does work. Except I'm now I'm out of range. I'm going to be out of range because... I can't raise my camera high enough for you to see everything. Also, I might have to stand for this auspicious occasion. That maybe. Uh -oh. See, look at that. It took that tape right. I mean, it took the paint right off. Well, I would expect that from duct tape, so it's sticky. Sticky stuff. No, I think it's just because the box is so thick. I just can't cut it right now. Darn it. Okay, note to self. And anybody else who is listening. Acrylic paint does not stick very well. Well, right now, you know, but if you put tape on, if I put a piece of duct tape on here and rip it off, it'll take that paint right off. So there's nothing to make it stick in there type of thing, I guess. <sighs> the little sad things in life. This one looks like it's getting ready to come up again. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, because it's already, is it sticky? It's still sticky. 
is I am going to shove this thing in and right yeah right there and hope it sticks <laughs> since I'm like, now this one is a little bit taller so I don't think it's uh, I'm torn how, how much taller is it <clears throat> well, maybe an eighth of an inch taller oh no a little more than an eighth of an inch taller how much how bad does that look it looks bad hey <laughs> yeah what does it look like oh maybe <clears throat> I'm going to cut this back a smidge this way. Uh, alcohol. I thought that was alcohol ink on my finger. All right, that actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Thank goodness this is not going to anybody. I'm not gonna sell it. <laughs> Can I give it away or anything like that? Just for me. I hope this 100 things challenge isn't like stuff that you would do. You would eventually give away or sell. I'm in trouble then. Would you buy this from me? If I put it up for sale. Now, it would be interesting to see if this would actually dry because on paper, alcohol ink dries very quickly. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay, that's bad. That's not too bad. Okay, fine, I'll cover the whole thing. Static cling. No way. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm just looking to see if I missed any spots. I'm going to look in the screen panel. Right here. I don't think I need to do that's cool okay now I'm gonna turn this around and I want to 
put something that I wouldn't mind getting an alcohol ink marker on. <laughs> right? Because I'm going to cover this this part of the box here. Cool beans, man. That is so cool. <laughs> Okay, now, what, I wonder what kind of sealant would keep this from, hey, it's dry, <laughs> uh, would keep that from, oh, right, maybe I won't need it, maybe I won't need it, okay, so, this is it. Still sticking up there a little bit. I'm going to try to ignore it. Oh, yeah. Now I have to take, I want to tilt this to the side. So I'm going to take all these little things out that I had in here. A lot of little things. A lot of tiny little things. Okay. Now you're supposed to sit 
nice and even like. Oh yeah, cool, right? Well, that looks like it should sit there <laughs> just like that. That looks like it's. That looks like it doesn't look like it's sideways. It looks like it's sitting up like it should. That's just weird. Optical illusion and everything. So it's for all kinds of things. I can put scissors in here. I can put alcohol ink markers. And unlike I have here, I got a whole mess of stuff right here. I can put in there. Paper clips, binder clips, these little plastic safety pin dilly whoppers. Oh yeah, pieces of tape. My little cardboard flower petal. Yeah, man. That's cool. I'm done. Thank you for watching, by the way. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go. Hey, can I zoom in on that? Get dormy. Uh-oh. Oh, where was I? Spin the wheel. All right. I know you kind of like to see, what does the time say? 12, 12 a.m. Happy Memorial Day. Oh, I don't need to do it. Well, maybe. I do need to do it. Oh, I should have I should have started on A. Well, let's do another one. It always lands on the area between that area type of thing. Ta-da! I always feel like rays of sunshine are coming out. Have a radiant day. Bye.